History of the Horse, Part 2, The Origins of Equus. The family tree of the horse is not a direct or straight line, and there were several branches that either became something else or became extinct. The timeline for the family of Equidae looks something like below. Eohippus, Don Horse, lived around 50 million years ago in the early Eocene epoch. The first in the line of proto-horses to emerge from the very unhorse-like creature about the size of a fox, and because of its physiology to an unrelated species, was incorrectly called the Hyracotherium, which means Hyrax-like beast, but is now known as Eohippus. Then in the late Eocene, Mesohippus replaced Eohippus. Mesohippus, or middle horse, lived in the late Eocene and early parts of the Oligocene epoch, 32 to 24 million years ago, when the climate of North America became drier and the forests became flatlands. The late Eocene and the early stages of the Oligocene epoch also saw the rise of Meohippus, Miocene horse, even though it was extinct long before the Miocene epoch. By this time, the forerunners had evolved longer legs and stronger teeth to graze on the tougher grasses and to evade predators that lived on the plains. There were as many as three species of Mesohippus and two species of Myohippus that existed at the same time, overlapping 40 million years. Mesohippus finally died out during the mid Oligocene era, but Myohippus continued. Both of these mammals were now about the size of a German Shepherd and were taller and heavier with teeth that allowed them to eat a wider variety of plants. However, they were still browsers living in forests and swamps. The front feet were reduced to three toes and still padded, but the middle toe now carried most of the weight. Next up, the defining moment in the evolution of the horse when he moved out of the forests and swamps and onto the plains during the Miocene period, about 26 million years ago. Thank you for watching. And please visit our website for more information.